it's Sue here from Lucy Sports. Today I'm going to show you some great games that you can play in your garden with everyday items around your house. So the first one is a washing line. Um, we're going to just do some skipping. I'm going to take you through three levels. So the first level, all I'm going to do is jump up high and then Claire's just going to pull the rope underneath my feet, not knocking me down. Okay, here we go. I jump up and then I jump up. Okay, and then you jump up. Brilliant. Level two, Claire's going to send the rope over my head. I'm going to stop and then I jump up and she'll pull the rope underneath. So I get to use to the flight of the rope. Here we go. She goes over my head. It stops. I jump up and she pulls it underneath. Once I've got used to that and the rhythm of the rope, I then move on to a continuous rope going over. So are we ready, Claire? One, two, three. Here we go. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. So that's a fun game that you can play with a washing line. Now I'm going to move on to some throwing and catching. Just using the fence with a few targets stuck on. I've just printed those off the computer. Or you could just draw some with some chalk. So I've got a lightweight ball. All I'm going to do is practice throwing and catching, going to different heights and staying close for level one. I might want to move back to level two, but add a bit of turning into it, different turning. And level three, I move right back and throw the ball a little bit faster. Doesn't matter if it bounces. Some great games that you can do with a lightweight ball. Moving on to some jumping again. The French skipping. Oh, this predates me back to my youth. So French skipping, all I've done is tied a little bit of a rope onto some elastic. They're actually out of my tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> they won't fall down. And all I'm going to do is come up with different games. I go out, in, one leg, two leg, one leg, in, and one. That's your first level. You can always hire it up. I'm using chairs, but you could have a friend that lifts it on their legs. So you can go a little bit higher, a bit more springing and come up with your own little dance. Next one, a throwing game. I found a variety of balls around my house. Um, I've put a few plastic cups. Um, if you're visually impaired, somebody can stand behind shaking it so it can tell me which cup to go for. Again, I found that out of the toy box. I can start close, just doing a little underarm. I can move further back, I can do overarm further back. Again, moving back, underarm. Oh, I did two at a time. So different games that you could do with the cups. So moving again now to a jumping one, the classic hopscotch. And um, I've used a sock, a great one to stop it rolling off the numbers. This again I found in my loft, but you could always just draw the numbers with a piece of chalk. Uh, a good classic game, coordination of dropping it on, coming really close and I have to just jump over that number to two and three and then teach you to balance on one leg. I could just walk it through or I can throw a little bit faster turning, a little bit faster jumping and then jumping over and then I move to number two and then I go one leg, one leg, one leg, two, one, two, one and then back to one. So classic game, lots and lots of fun. So that's with a sock, piece of chalk and numbers. Uh, final game is I've um, found my pots, not yet pot potted yet so I've got a small and a short one medium one and then the narrow one I've got a variety of balls I've crunched up some paper a slinky ball a pair of socks again vision impaired somebody could stand behind them making the noise or I love popping it inside and listen to the ball land on the tambourine love that how it bounces out 
I've also got a little gadget here that could tell me where the next bin is. There's a vision paired and then I know it's somewhere near the sound. And then I've also got my sock going for the harder one. Ooh! Keep trying it. Enjoy. Come up with your own games. <laughs>